Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead and finally another what we eat for dinner in a week. In these videos I show you how I combine inexpensive Aldi groceries with food that we are blessed with from the food pantry to make hopefully well-balanced, well-rounded meals. As a family we generally eat low carb because my husband and I do for health reasons, but as the and as the sole cook in the house it's just easier for me to make one meal. But you will see variations to that and I will explain as we go. Um, so yeah, we're going to jump back into this, but it's going to be a short week. Um, my kids and I will be leaving Friday morning to go spend a weekend with my parents and all my nieces and nephews. So um, it will be a slightly shorter week, so I thought this would be a good week to jump in and do this again. I deeply appreciate all of you guys' prayers and well wishes and all of that. Um, we the, the treatment that I talked about... A, a week or so ago um out in the garden uh is definitely working but it was treating the symptoms of what we were dealing with and not the actual cause since then i have been in contact with um my our doctor and um we think we have nailed down what was causing the stomach issue and so the little guys and i that are were having stomach issues are in treatment for that I'm just going to say um, we we probably had a parasite. Uh, I don't even like thinking about that, but um, yeah. So we are doing some uh, natural herbal um, anti-parasite stuff, and we are noticing a difference. We're on day, this is day three, so um, glad that that's, yeah, happening. <laughs> you um i'm not saying like we have yeah we're just not going to go into details but it's not been gross or anything like that it's just been you know we aren't even having any side effects from taking them so i'm blessed in that aspect but i'm i'm ready for this to be over anyway so uh on saturday my husband's mom and brother and his family all came over to hang out for the day and we grilled out burgers and hot dogs. I made cold slaw, coleslaw and garlic green beans. Um, they brought over some sides, which are already gone. And then uh, my mother-in-law brought potato chips. So we are having essentially leftovers of that tonight because we still had quite a bit of hot dogs. I've already made my kids' plate, plates. So um, more than likely, we may end up finishing all of this off tonight because there's not a whole lot left uh, cause I know my two big kids will probably come back in and get seconds. So, um, yeah, coleslaw. I made this up tonight from our cucumbers with some Aldi cherry tomatoes. This is with Italian dressing on it. The leftover green beans. Yeah. Kind of self-explanatory, but, um, made for a nice quick and easy meal today. We picked the second picking off of our green beans and got a full five gallon bucket. So we got those picked this morning and then I processed those um, or the kids and I cleaned those and I will can them tomorrow. And then um, I also picked four of our cabbages that were ripe and made three half gallon jars plus a quart of coleslaw uh, or sorry of sauerkraut got that started so yeah I was completely fine with not having to full-blown cook dinner tonight so that is Monday night and we will see you tomorrow it is Tuesday night and tonight we are having my kids like favorite meal of breakfast for dinner uh, so we went to the food pantry today and we got that big box of pears and so you guys will have seen that so we spent the afternoon canning pears we got 24 pints and eight quarts out of that some of them i did cinnamon in those are still hot so i'm gonna try not to touch it and then some of them we just did plain um so i had two pints that did not seal so we're having that with with dinner so we've got our eggs uh, some sausage links from Aldi, some of the um, canned pears, and then this was uh, some, I had it just a minute ago, a cinnamon streusel bread stuff that we got from the food pantry before as well, and they've just been in the freezer, so um, 
I do have more eggs left and some more of the pears left if anybody is still hungry after this. So for me, I eat breakfast for breakfast pretty much every day of the week. So I don't really want breakfast for dinner. Um, I went ahead and put two chicken thighs, frozen ones from Aldi in the air fryer. And we've got some leftover of the cucumber tomato salad from last night. Um, and then, yeah, I'll just come up with some other sides. I might do, we've picked some zucchini out, out of our garden so I could do zucchini fries or something like that. So, um, yeah, that's completely fine with me on just winging it on my own. So, and I won't eat both of those thighs tonight. I just, if I'm going to run the air fryer, I might as well run it and I can fit two in there. So then I can have the other one for like lunch tomorrow or something like that. So that is Tuesday night. We'll see you tomorrow. It is Wednesday night. Tonight we are having mini meatloaves. I do this just because they cook so much faster than doing full-size meatloaves. This is a pound of ground beef and a pound of, or the package of sweet Italian sausage from the food pantry. I mixed that with some seasoning and a couple small eggs and some almond flour. And I baked those at 350 for, I don't know, maybe a half an hour. And then I put on some barbecue sauce and baked them for another 5-10 minutes just kind of so the barbecue sauce gets tacky. Obviously, I know barbecue sauce is not a traditional um, meatloaf topping, but it works and it's delicious. With that, we have green beans from our garden. Get used to seeing those because we eat a lot of fresh green beans during the summer. Um, these I steamed until they were tender and then I... Took the lid off and cooked all the water out, added in some oil, and sautéed them just a little bit, and then added in a very generous tablespoon of garlic to it, like minced garlic, and just sautéed that just enough so that the garlic gets fragrant and delicious. Salt, this is a favorite of ours. And then those two packages of the... Uh, vegetable medley that we got from the food pantry I did chop them up so that they would cook a little bit more evenly still managed to overcook them oops I added the, when they were done salt butter and uh, some like the table seasoning from Aldi so that is Wednesday night's dinner we'll see you tomorrow it is Thursday night and we are breaking our pizza on Friday night tradition since we won't be home on Friday and so I asked the kids if they wanted pizza tonight and they were like, yes, please. So I took one of those take and bake pizza or take and bake um, bread dough, yeah, bread loaves that we got from the food pantry. And I sliced it lengthwise into thirds so that um, it didn't make too terribly thick of pizzas. So this one just has some ham lunch meat and um, zine apple, which is you can we're going to do it the simplest uh, explanation. You can overgrown zucchini in pineapple juice, and it tastes like pineapple. It's a mild pineapple, but it tastes like pineapple. So uh, that one's the Hawaiian. Then this one is just pepperoni and cheese, and that one is just cheese. With that, I pulled out a bunch of the little bits of fruit that we had left in the refrigerator. We had a very small amount of grapes, one pear, a few strawberries, an apple, and a few of the cherries that we picked up the other day at the food pantry. And so I just diced all of that up, the rest of the little jar of zine apple as well, and just made a quick fruit salad. It's beautiful. And then this is the leftovers from the veggies last night that I thought we would get used up tonight. Uh, for me, I have uh, some chicken thighs in the air fryer that I am going to take down with me. Um, I know what meals my mom has planned for this weekend, and uh, there are a couple of them that I can't eat or would prefer not to because of carb content. So I always try to bring down some food with me that I know that I can eat. So I put three chicken thighs in the air fryer. I will eat one of those tonight, and then I took a small zucchini from our uh, garden and I'm making it into zucchini fries. I also have my youngest kiddo is not a huge fan of pizza. I know my kids are weird. Um, so she will probably end up having some of the chicken and the two sides instead of pizza. We'll see. 
Um, so yeah, that is the week of meals, the short week. So um, I thank you guys for watching this. I'm glad to be feeling well enough to be back at it. Definitely all of our symptoms are not gone. Um, but I am seeing improvement in the herbal treatment that we are doing. We're really trying to do the herbal treatment before doing the stronger herbal treatment before doing the prescription treatment. So we're really hoping that this treatment works and takes care of it. And like I said, we're definitely seeing improvement and so it seems to be working. So hopefully by the time I am back next week with videos, we will be symptom free and well on our way to no longer having a parasite. Yuck, just the thought of it, you know. They're so common around the world. Like parasite cleanses are like normal every twice every year thing in Africa and um, some of the, the um, South American countries and those kind of things. And here in America, we just don't do it because we don't generally have a parasite overload like you do in especially third world countries, but I'm kind of starting to lean toward doing them on a more often basis, oh, just because. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye and God bless.